Um, if you are watching part five after watching part four, I appreciate it. And thank you for taking the time. Inside, the ruins looked old, but inside it looks so modern. Something about this feels off to me. The time period doesn't seem to line up at all. I feel the same. And I know we can't use our sword or scan. one way to greet people. Okay, so that was the test subject. And with all the things I have been reading, they don't trust wow, the Oracle. This place is filled with capsules. Was it a research facility?
There's a camp. Probably gotta hit the button and then just go as fast as you can. Yeah, okay. be opened with the remote panel. There should be one in the control room. And then we know the guy right here.
It's open. Let's head to the game. Oh, cool. PlayStation. Triangle Circle X Square. Pattern under your feet is a hint. Well, yeah, I'll... There's a triangle. Oh, no, I... mm. hmm. Maybe the pattern under your feet is a hint. Move to the next area. Man, I feel like I'm missing something. Specimen preservation. So there are a lot of different locations here. This time there's a lot of different locations. Like I think it'd be silly. To leave a bunch of chat. I'm detecting a fusion cell in that generator. Let's get it out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanna check it out. Right? So let's go in. Find something.
good thing to go explore and stuff. on the other side's open. Well, am I exploring or I need to explore? Oh. Or am I... I don't know. I feel like there's supposed to be something down there. Maybe I should have went down there. To say. I mean, I don't see anything down there. Laser is on. Let's go down. Test subjects are like on the Nathia. We're gonna have to rotate this.
subjects are alive. Okay, so we don't want to do that. I wonder if you can up.
that's weird. Why would this one here? that there was an extra one. Great! <laughs> Success! study nativas or yes they might have done Lily after all knowing your enemy is often the first step towards defeating them but this place seems more like a manufacturing facility to me All the lights are red. I have a bad feeling. The power is out. There must be a power supply somewhere.
stuck. At least not to pull her ball. Done. The elevator should work now. here as well. There should be a weakness. Contamination is advancing here. Almost there. The park is blocked. I'll look for a different route. We can take a detour through the vent. It's 
closed. We have to look for a security code. somewhere nearby. No. Try entering the code.
supply cap is here as well. <sighs> Let's take a breath anyway. The Natibas here. They look almost human. These Natibas are definitely different from the ones on the surface. A lot of them aren't even on our list of Natibas. Elder, you're keeping something from us. What is it? Yeah, I do think so.
The cell's preservation around. status is good. Great. Be careful with it now. You should head back. I'll have the pod waiting for you once you go outside. Huh? Wait. There's... There's a legacy here. A legacy? What's that? It's a device with records left by the airborne squad before me. They leave important information for the next airborne squad. I see. But... Why would an airborne squad come all the way here? Maybe they knew something about the Alpha or the Elder. I'll check the legacy. Day eight after the second dive. Third record. Legacy account Raven. Remaining survivors Ripley and Danis. Anis is in a bad condition. Death is very likely at this rate. We discovered this laboratory, 4.47 kilometers from the drop-off point. It seems to be a facility that studied Natibas, but it's hard to obtain accurate information due to severe contamination. However, I discovered an astonishing fact while searching through the data. Before the war we call the Final War, there was another war. It was a war fought between humanity and the androids humanity had themselves created, the so-called Andro-Ados. Humans lost the war against their own creation. The few humans who did survive hid in underground facilities, but the hunt was far from over. However, an unexpected factor turned the tide of the war. With mankind at the verge of extinction, Natiba's powerful creatures from an unknown origin appeared out of nowhere. The war with the Natibas brought about the destruction of the androids. And so, during this time, mankind was able to make its escape to the colony. From now on, I plan to investigate the origin of Natibas. Hopefully, at the origin point, I should find the elder Natiba. To anyone who may be watching, may Mother Spear's blessings be with you. I didn't think a record like this existed. And there was another big war before the final war. I never learned about anything like that at the colony. What do you think, Adam? The history of mankind is riddled with conflict. It's hardly a surprise to hear about wars before the final war. Even so, it's strange that this wasn't passed down. I'll retrieve the legacy and go back. Wait a moment, Eve. I can pick you up with the tetrapod. Okay, I'll be waiting. to take the test again. Tell me if you need anything. 
How may I assist you? Did great, Eve. Shall we go back to Zion? Let's get on board. An angel in Zion. The prophecy will soon come true. As expected, my eyes did not deceive me. Excellent work, Adam. I'll leave this one to you as well. Let's go to the hyperdrive. Secondary drive energy injection. Initiating activation. we're doing is really worth it.
once again. Thank you. Now it's your turn. Wait. He will give you an answer. There's a sewage treatment facility and a train graveyard in the old city center. I am detecting the frequencies of an Alpha Nativa coming from Matrix 11. Matrix 11. I will forward the map data to the Tetrapod. It will guide you as you attempt to travel to the Alpha Nativa's location. Thanks for helping us. It means a lot. None of this can compare to all that you have done for Zion, I assure you. <clears throat> I wish you luck. The town seems different. I see more people, more signs. I told you, what we've accomplished has been well worth it. I don't think we'll be catching any more sideways glances. Well, that's great to hear. To be honest, I was getting a bit anxious. I'm heading over to the Tetrapod. Why don't you take some time to enjoy the new scenery? I was just taking a look around the city. Are you heading out? All right. Take care. You'll come back soon, I hope. All right. You stay safe. Forgive me. I was wrong. It is all my fault.
It's you, Angel. Now, why would an angel visit the last gulp? Here for a song, perhaps? I could ask you the same. I thought you'd be busy collecting scraps or trading like the other scavengers. Yeah. That's what I'd be doing. If it wasn't for my partner screwing up. He entered the forbidden area. Trying to find a jackpot for the sake of Zion and the store. Or so he says. That place is the Devil's Lair. That's why there's lost treasure in it. Devil's Lair? Yes. The Devil's Lair. An underground chamber echoing with the roars of Natibas. I even got near the place to find my partner. But I turned back like a coward. After that, I couldn't possibly continue life as a scavenger. I can't stand idly by if Natibas are involved. I'll help. What? Why? There's nothing in it for you, but I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. I just want to know if Tommy is alive. All I need you to do is find him. Fair enough. Send me the location. singing like usual well the thing is it's sue he hasn't come here recently i've also heard that he's seeing someone else do you do you think he will abandon me i don't think sue would do a thing like that please don't worry this might just be a misunderstanding where exactly did you hear this i heard it from Bo, one of sue's colleagues eve I'm sorry to bother you with this, but I can't leave here because of my legs. Can you ask around for me and maybe find out what's going on? Okay, just hang on. There's no reason to be so anxious. Thank you very much. What brings an angel here? I heard that you've been saying some strange things about Sue. What? Oh, right. You probably heard that from Enya, didn't you? But I guess that's not that important. I haven't seen Sue at all for the past few days now. Sorry, Sue's abandoned his post. He's not the type to do something like that. That's exactly what I'm saying. I wonder what happened to him. I'll have to investigate these in the right order. Do you know who Sue was meeting up with without Enya's knowledge? I... I couldn't say for certain. They were far away. Ah, oh, all right. This complicates things. Only the good die young. It's unreasonable, but 
world is like that. Do you have time to spare? I'd like to ask you something. I can't believe an angel is talking to someone like me. Please, go ahead. How can I help? I'm looking for a sentinel named Sue. I'd appreciate any information you might have. You mean the guard at the memory square? You are asking the wrong person here. What's going on? He's gone missing. I'm doing what I can to find him. Oh no. I'll be sure to let you know right away if I hear anything. would come here. I wish I could meet this angel. Do you have a moment? Can I ask you a question? Aren't... aren't you the angel? It's nice to meet you. My name is Maya, so what can I help you with? Maya, have you ever met a sentinel by the name of Sue? Sue? No, I don't have any idea. It's quite a surprise that a job like this would fall to an angel. There's a situation. Thank you for cooperating. Hmm. You take care, angel. Thank you for gifting us the hypercell. Angel, what brings you here? I'm investigating the whereab. Have you seen Sue recently? Or spoken to him at all? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I don't want anything to do with any sent- Okay. Thank you for your cooperation. I have something I'd like to ask you. Yes, Angel? What is it? I'm looking for a sentinel named Sue. I think you might have spoken with him. How... how did you know that? Finally. Sue has disappeared. I'd appreciate it if you would assist me with the investigation. My goodness. What's going on? Well... The Sentinel was looking for a lower body exospine system for medical purposes. Uh, of course, we don't have anything that rare available here. I told him that I'd have a lot of trouble finding one unless he looked someplace where a lot of supplies were dumped during the war, like the area near the solar tower in the wasteland. Did he say what he was planning on doing with the exospine? He just said someone really needed it. He didn't say anything more than that. Oh, Angel, I... I really hope nothing bad has happened to him. I'm trying to find out. Anyway, thank you. You've been a big help. Oh, no. I can already tell what Sue's up to. It's trying to find a way for Enya to walk. I have a really bad feeling about this. What do you want to do? Are you going to go find him? I guess I'll have to start by going to the solar tower in the wasteland that Kaya mentioned. Kaya? Kaya? Ah! Ancient! Ah! I...
My comrades are waiting. It's a good thing to have people. All right, Angel. I'll do my. Thank you, Kaya. The Angel is here again. Hey, I've been deceived more than enough. Shh. Hurry and go. So, you brought me all the way here. What for? Hey, relax. I'm just the messenger. Take this. What? This is... a terminal. This device is locked with a quantum passcode. What do you expect me to do with it? You're asking the wrong person, Angel. I was just told to give you that terminal in secret. Good luck, then. H hey! took my sister. Please save my younger sister. Where are the looters now? There, down the alley. Ugh. Wait right here. Track. Everyone's happy to call you the Angel, just because you came from the colony. Aren't we humans just like you? Well, why should we have to dig through garbage, cower and hide from the Ativos just to survive? Why? But, didn't you know? How could you not? All of you. Actual angels. There are many treasures, but none more precious than the materials inside your bodies. And with a body as state of the art as yours? Need I say more? I've got to say, it'll be nice to hear a thank you for a change. <laughs> Are you alright? Focus on me, can you do that? Adam... These are black market merchants. I didn't think they'd approach airborne squad members. <sighs> this can't be... I've never seen this before. It looks like Natibas weren't all humans had to worry about. <sighs> Let's get you back to the safe house and do some maintenance.
believe you're here. Look over here. What's this? Uh, this here is an alpha signal meter. This device uses the subtle resonance from the alpha core to pinpoint its location. It can't reach a super long distance, but you'll find it useful once you head over to the location Orkel told you about. Wow, good work. <laughs> You're gonna put me out of a job. I thought you were already out of a job. <laughs> you little brat. Thank you for helping me out all the time, Lily. And just one more. Can you turn around for me? Here. Done. What have you done, Lily? I customized the power distribution of the body cell. Doesn't your body feel lighter? Something does feel different. If you try jumping, I bet you'll notice the difference. <laughs> Double jump. That's Bulletin board? All right then. I have to return to the input unit.
Good to see you. Hello. I much prefer EPS. Good top. Let's leave it at the barge in like this. The store is closed. Oh, Angel, uh, wh what are you doing here? I heard some noise. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, I, I didn't know that. Sorry to bother you, Angel. As you can see, this is a general store. I, I trade all kinds of items. But I can't do business, not anymore. Why not? Well, I had a treasure in the store. I, I thought of it as my guardian angel. It's a gilt bronze standing Buddha. An old, valuable treasure. But my daughter Arun stole it. That item protects this store. She... She knows how valuable it is. I bet she wanted to sell it at the market. I see. Tell me what I can do to help. Thank you, Angel. If you terrify the scavengers at the market, they'll tell you where it is. Terrify them? Yes, Angel. Please, bring back my gilt bronze standing Buddha. Please, I beg you. Fine. I'll see what I can do. you. May Mother's Sphere's blessings be with you always. Uh, uh, yes. Meeting you like this now, it's Mother's doing. She's answered my prayers. If you came all the way to the ground for the sake of Mother's Sphere, well, I'm sure you'll at least listen to my request. A favor? I have a brother, a good man, and as devout as I am, if not more. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to make it out of Ados 7 before it was submerged. Ados 7. Now, it would be foolish of me to think he managed to survive. However, I would at least like to have his Book of Faith. It was precious to him. To us, that book is even more valuable than our lives. My brother was a librarian at the library in Ados 7. Knowing him, he stayed at that library until the very end, to protect it. Please, try to retrieve the Book of Faith from the library. A gold circle is engraved on the cover, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find. All right. Thank you. Rest assured, Mother will protect you along your journey.
angel. <sighs> Stop. I'm not an angel. I'm a child. Angel, the nice man over there told me to bring this over to you. What's this? Dunno, but I accomplished my mission. Bye bye. <laughs> I got to see the angel up close. That's suspicious. Sending a random child instead of coming to me directly. What is this program? Potalos Plaza. Oh. Is this related to that flooded shopping mall? That's a pretty vague request. Seems like a trap. Could be. We'll know when we get there. Hmm. What to do? Angel, fancy learning a little bit about history? History? Me, me, I'm very interested! My goodness, now that's what I call a surprise. It's wonderful to hear that you're interested. Citizens here are too exhausted or jaded to truly appreciate the wonders of history. Well, I'm not exactly. I'm especially interested in organic civilizations, like the organic humans that lived before us. Unfortunately for us, not many records remain intact. Refusing to listen to others, I see. Don't you find it odd? Even if history was neglected, it's strange there is zero mention of organic humans. It's almost as if it's... forbidden knowledge. <sighs> see? Isn't this exciting? Ha! <laughs> of course it is! Curiosity is what drives humanity. We're always learning. Listen. I came up with an idea while wondering where to get records of uh, organic humans. I heard that you visited the Hall of Records over in Ada 7. Is that true? And you managed to retrieve a hypercell? That may be true, but... Yes! Then please, grant my wish. I'd like you to get information on organic humans from the information terminal at the Hall of Records. I have total faith in you, please. Please. But the Hall of Records is already... Eve! Eve! You should be able to connect to the information terminal via the door switch by the entrance. <sighs> Lily, would you like to come along? <laughs> what can I say? I'm curious. Of course I'd like to learn more about the civilization that came before us. Okay. I'll try to look for it the next time I'm in Ados 7. <laughs> I knew it! You and I have something in common after all. All right then, I'll be right here patiently awaiting your return. Go, run along! Yeah, yeah, I'm going.
I don't know, I saw something with Barn. I don't know, I need to see the mission board. This one, you can see. We can probably get like right, all these side plates done. Hedge balls. There are quite a lot of them out here. I've really missed this place. I doubt he was able to hike. This is. Isn't this his weapon? I'll take a look. He must have dropped this during combat. There isn't much ammo left. That doesn't seem like a good sign. No. He didn't die here, I'm positive. If he dropped this while he was being attacked, his corpse would be nearby.
these corpses. Looks like they've been dead for a while. Which means... It takes a lot of skill to survive for long out in the wasteland. But Sue has what it takes. Or maybe he just got lucky. Seems like it. Information from the investigation camp indicates that Sue was searching for something somewhere near this area. He engaged in at least one fight here. Most likely, more than one. And you think he slipped up? Or was ambushed? 
and things went south from there? I've entered the footprint data I've collected into the scan system. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like other people have passed through here. All right, let's find out where Sue went. I hope he's still alive. Yeah, you and me both. Might be a good place to hide. Right, okay. Go in. We don't know what's inside. Tread carefully. You've already figured everything out, if you manage to find me here. As you can see, I let my guard down. I'm lucky to be alive, but I couldn't fight after my right arm was injured. All I could do was run and hide here. I barely made it, but I managed to get the parts for Enya's legs. Though it was pointless. I wasn't strong enough to get back. What possessed you to do something so dangerous, and without even telling Enya? Well, 
I... I wasn't able to do anything for Enya. If it wasn't for you, I... I would have... I would... Uh, stop talking like that! <sighs> Let's go back. Right now. Enya needs you. to Sue. Nothing bad happened to him, right? No. Don't worry. He was out on a ridiculous expedition, searching for some rare equipment that would help you walk. What? Then things took a turn for the worse, and he found himself trapped in the wasteland. Sue, won't you come in? Do you want to tell her the rest? to walk? Well, well... Of course I do. But... Uh, well... Walking is meaningless if it means losing you. Anya, I'm sorry. I felt so useless just waiting around, watching. I wanted to help. I just... I just wanted to see you walk again. That's all. Really. I'm sorry. Never do that again. I mean it. Never again. Treasure. You're here for treasure? Go away! I won't give it to you. I have to protect it. What is this treasure you're talking about? I won't take it from you. Just tell me what it is. Treasure. My treasure. Our treasure. Mother Sphere's treasure. These are... You've been holding on to these memory sticks for yourself, thinking they're treasure. My treasure. I left some treasure behind. I should have protected it, but I ran. Treasure. It's because of the Natibas. Natiba. You ran from where? Are there more memory sticks? You're helping me? Treasure. Bring me the treasure. The great desert. The ruins in the sandstorm. I lost my treasure. Our treasure. Okay, okay. I'll help you. Don't worry.
person died recently. So, this must be the partner. Then something must have been here.
Not getting any more enemy signals. Let's head back. Well, after we pay our respects, of course. We'd better take the alpha signal meter over to the tetrapod before... Oh, look at all the dust in the socket. Let me clean that for you.
Angel, what happened? What happened to Tommy? I'm sorry. Tommy. I think he left this for you. This is... you fool. What's the point of having all these assets? If you're gonna go and get yourself killed... Business is booming, yeah right. It's all useless if you're dead. Tommy. You fool. Hey, you okay? Yes. Yes, I'll be fine. I should get back to the store. I can't ignore what my friend left behind. I never thought I'd be saying this to you. But... Thank you. This puzzle's more complicated than the last one. Yeah, I had to do everything to the square. This facility, anyway. Oh, 
I can feel the client's desperation. is here again. Hey, I've been deceived more than... Shh, hurry and go. Excuse me. Can I ask you a question? W what? S so sudden? Have you seen a person named Arin around here? Arin? Why, she's the general store owner's daughter. Look, I don't know what she's done, but whatever it is, I had absolutely nothing to do with it. Um, of course. Thank you for your time. Hello, Ain't- Hi, Kaya. I'm doing all right. It would be nice if only my- Kaya, can I ask you something? Sure. Have you met a girl named Arin? Arin? I guess you've heard the story then. What story? About her and her father, Lyle. They were really close. They cared for each other, though they were financially struggling. But ever since Lyle got that standing Buddha, he changed. He considers it his guardian angel, and even believes that it embodies Mother's fear. Over time, his obsession grew stronger than ever. I guess that's why Arin decided to get rid of it for good. She asked me if there was a place to hide something where it would never be found. <sighs> Seems like this is something personal. So, where is she? Scrap Plains. There's a building with a dome roof. People call it the villa. It was built by strange drones. Nobody goes there. Perfect place to hide something. Okay, thanks.